What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're going to have some fun with it today. We're rocking out with a Hailstorm team that features Glaceon, Ambipom, and Scizor. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that, people. Click that big red subscribe button, join the community, and ring this notification bell so you know when all my videos go live. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Glaceon. One of the, the coolest evolutions. I feel like all evolutions are cool, but I don't know why. I just always found Glaceon to be really, really cool looking. We're rocking an extra belt as its item alongside with the snow cloak ability. So when it's in the hail, it's evasiveness is going through me. So we can dodge some attacks and it can uh it can stay in the battle a bit longer. Moveset's gonna be pretty cool with the ice beam. We got yawn, shadow ball for coverage, and then last but not least, we're rocking protect. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon and showcase how hard it actually hits in the special attacking category. Second Pokemon is going to be a bomb. So this Pokemon pairs up perfectly with the Glaceon because it hops into battle with its uh what's the ability called? With the snow warning ability. And it just pops hail right off the rip. We got Blizzard, hits 100% of the time in hail, Energy Ball, Protect, and Icy Wind for Speed Control. Item for this guy is gonna be the Focus Sash, so it actually doesn't die in one hit. Third Pokemon on the squad is one of one of the best fake out Pokemon in this game. We got ourselves Ambipom right here. It hits like a truck and it also has fake out control. We got Silk Scarf to make its normal moves do more damage, alongside with the technician ability. And last but not least, this amazing move set of fake out, double hit, you turn to pivot out, and then we got Aerial Ace for our lonesome coverage move. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is Scizor. Do I even have to say anything about this Pokemon? One of the best physical attackers in this game. Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Sword Stance, Protect with Technician, and then obviously we're rocking the Life Orb to make this Pokemon do even more damage. Fifth Pokemon is another great physical attacker. It is going to be this lovely Gyarados over here with the Lumberry. We also got Intimidate as its ability, and the move set we're rocking with is Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance to set up, and Protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is my boy this is my boy right here this arcanine setup you guys have been seeing me use it all over bdsp it just works so so well we got flare blitz will it wisp snarl protect usually i like to run the flamethrower one but either way i'm really only using this pokemon for the will o wisp and snarls and intimidates it's just so good it is just super super good we got intimidate like you guys probably already noticed and then last but not least we're rocking the citrus berry as our item but guys there's a team preview we're ready to rock out with this hailstorm team let's hop to that coliseum let's get some wins we're hopping into battle number one, and it's looking a little scary. He's rocking a belly drum lining team alongside with Smeargle. Smeargle is a pain in the neck. It can put Pokemon to sleep. It can just do a lot. It's a real big of a pain. He also has a Scissor, the Gardevoir, Heatran, and then last but not least, he's rocking Hitmon top. But how should we go into this one? How should we play? I could lean towards Ambipom, but just for like a turn one fake out. I think that could be really, really good considering we outspeed a lot. But then he also has Intimidate on top of that. He does have Intimidate on top of that, but I kind of just want to roll out with Ambipom. Ambipom Arcanine could definitely be a solid lead. I'm like an Ambipom and maybe like Leceon as lead, and then I can hard swap or not hard swap U-turn out into a bomb so, which isn't too bad, which is not too bad now I think about it. So I'm really liking these three, and then final Pokemon, I really want the Arcanine. I really want the Arcanine, but I need a big old physical attack on the field, which I'm leaning towards like Scizor or Gyarados because, yo, he trans a pain. Yeah, we're gonna go Gyarados here. Intimidate's really good. I'm really liking him, but dude, mmm, Scizor's just nice. It can do some work on that uh, guard room, but I think we should be fine with it. I think we should be fine with it. So, you know what? I'm going to lock it down. I'm going to lock it in. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But, yo, BDSP is so much fun. I always have an absolute blast playing BDSP. It's just a nice little change of pace. We're just going to end up going Smeargle alongside with uh, Lion, And that's totally fine. That is totally fine. But from here, you know what? I'm just going to fake out the Smeargle. And I'm going to target down that Lion. Lion with a nice, lovely little Ice Beam. Nice, lovely little Stab Ice Beam. See how this one plays. Just don't protect anybody. Let me get this turn. Let me just give, give your little artist over there, your Smeargle, little Klapskis. Let me get some damage off on the line because I do not want Lion popping up. What is that? Belly Jump. Definitely a scary Pokemon. Fake Out comes out. Look at that damage. That is ridiculous. This thing is going to go for Belly Jump, and I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I just wish my Glaceon could outspeed a little bit. But it's good to know that my Ambipom should be faster than that. It should be, right? Ambipom is fast a little bigger. Citrus Barry's going to come out here, and let's get a freeze up in here. Let's get a freeze. Can this thing rock follow me? That could be a problem. That could definitely be a problem if it is rock right follow me. We're gonna poke out with this. Get some damage off. And oh my god, so close. So close. Do not be a speed boost. Special attack. Beautiful. And he's gonna drop in what? What are you dropping? Speed? Attack. Okay. It don't even matter. We, we almost take out that line in, and then from here, you know what? I'm just gonna U-turn out. I am gonna U-turn out and then I'm just gonna go for an ice beam. And I'm gonna double down into this line in slot. Seeing it's belly jump, it's ready to roll. Hopefully it's not protecting. Probably should have went after the uh the smear goal, but yeah, we did some big damage with that ice beam. That ice beam did a ridiculous amount of damage. See what he does here. 
He's gonna go for, I end up going for an extreme speed. And that's fine, I guess. He takes me out, I take him out. I'm cool with that. He might put me to sleep. But I'm gonna bring out my uh I'm gonna bring out my lovely little Obama says. So if he is sporing, it won't affect us because we are great. So I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay, he takes out my, my Glaceon. I'm a little upset at that, but still. I can bring back out Ambipom because Ambipom hits hard and save my Intimidate for later. Bring out Obama and just start sending blizzards. Just start sending blizzards. Or I can start Icy Wind Speed Control. I kind of do dig the Icy Wind Speed Control. It is sounding really good. It is sounding really good, but it really depends on who he throws out here or what he does with the Smeargle here. Smeargle is going to go for a sport. And, ah, yo, beautiful. Just what we wanted. Just what we wanted. So, beautiful swap into a Bomb so He's going to take Buffets. Uh, we should be fine with speed, right? As long as that's not a speed boost, right? Okay, cool. Attack boost and speed drop. Speed drop. Speed drop. Special attack. He's just, like, floating around here. He's back to normal stats. But uh, we can go back into Ambipom, which I'm really leaning towards. Ambipom's just too good. We can fake out onto the Smeargle, and we can just drop out Blizzard, right? And Heatran's going to come out here. Heatran is a pain. Looks like we got to fake out Heatran. You know, I'm going to fake out Heatran, and I'm just going to roll into a Blizzard. Wait, got to be my play. Blizzard? Blizzardo? Yeah, and I'm going to double down into this. Uh, I'm going to double down into this Heatran. I can't deal with it. I cannot deal with the Heatran. Fake out's going to poke here. Yeah, eat. Get a little bit of claps. He's get the flinches going. And who's going to go next? Smeargle's going to go first. Smeargle's going to support me. Oh, I hate you, Smeargle. Get this thing out of my face. Smeargle's going to go down here to the Blizzard 100%. And the only thing I gotta worry about is going to be this heat train right now. Heat train's gonna come in hot. And it's scary. Give me a freeze on the heat train though. Give me a freeze. Yo, freeze this little booger. Help me out a little bit. Help me out. Do me a favor. No, we don't get the freeze. That's whack. We wanted it. We wanted it. So we're gonna take some buffets. Uh, we do have a focus ash, which is really, really good for us. Really, really good for us. I would love to get my Gyarados out here, but it's just like, eh. I could hard swap him and just get off Intimidate. Let's see who he rolls out into gonna be scissor oh my god yo scissor is such a pain scissor is such a pain and uh no i'm gonna protect i'm gonna protect you i'm gonna protect the bomb of snow and i'm just gonna uh try to get some turns off with uh with this, with this little guy right here get some turns off with him that's my plan protect the bomb of snow try to get off some turns because we know the heat wave is probably coming through here as long as he's not setting up like a sword stance i think we should be fine but i think he's just gonna start targeting down me as a uh, and trying to get some chaos here Heat wave's gonna poke. Please don't be a sword dance. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. Amy Palm should be able to soak that up, right? All day, Amy Palm. We love it. And he is sword dance. I'm a biscuit, man. God dang, sword dance. Okay, uh, from here, we're gonna have to take her hit and let Amy Palm go out here. That's her play all day. He might pick up the double kill. He's probably gonna pick up the double kill. I'm not even gonna lie. He's probably gonna pick up the double kill. We're just hoping, like, a bomb or something might be able to outspeed somebody and get a freeze at this point. Or Amy Palm could definitely wake up, but Amy Palm's really not doing too much. So Blizzard's gonna have to fly through again. I could go for the uh Oh, we definitely lost this battle. I don't like it. I don't like it! I do not like it. We'll go for the aerial ace here. It's not gonna do too much damage, but still. Amy Palm slumped. He slumped. What's he going for here? Bull punch? Oh yo, Obama so dodged that. That's huge. He's going for an X scissor here. That's huge. So my Obama so stays alive another turn. And we should be able to outspeed that little booger right there. Yeah, Blizzard's coming in hot. Blizzard coming in hot. Yo, give me a freeze. Keep me in this battle. Give me a freeze. Not one. And he sword stance again. Wow. Do the sword stance up again. Okay, so now we bring out Garrett. Kind of sitting here where it's just like, oh, we're at the point where it's like, we, we might have a shot here. We might have a shot. We have to go after the uh, the scissor. We have to take out the scissor first and foremost. First and foremost, scissor has to go out here. We got to hope maybe the heat trans going to protect. I think we're going into a waterfall into it. But we're going to double down into scissor with a blizzard and a, uh, and a waterfall here. Lovely little blizzard and a waterfall. We gotta get after this. We gotta get after this. We go big dodge on the bomb of snow part. Big dodge on him. We could go into another protect, but again, there's no point. We're just gonna double down into the scissor. Hopefully he's protecting that heat train. Show me you're protecting that heat train. Show me that you're protecting that heat train. Just give us that. Give us that. Give us that. But yo, scissor scare me. I hope he protects heat train and goes for a bull punch into my bomb of snow. That would trigger focus sash and we can be thriving here. He does protect the heat train. So we're out here with the reeds, baby. Go for a bull punch into bomb of snow. In the bomb zone. Yo, let's go. Let's go. We came to play. Yo, we need a KO here. This could be a big time play. This could be a big time play. Waterfall coming in hot. Take this thing out. Do some damage. Yo, can Blizzard do him dirty? No, he's rocking the berry. He's rocking the berry. All right, we need some freezes. We need some freezes. We need a freeze here, yo. We need a freeze. Give me a freeze. Wow, yo, Blizzard had the chance of doing it. Hail is going to stop. That's rough. 
That is real rough. And then from here, you know what? We're just going to protect you. Actually, no. He's going to double down. He's going to double down into my Gyarados here. I got to go right after you. We're going for a Blizzard and into a Waterfall. Oh my god, yo. This battle's too close. He goes for the Bull Punch. He does go into Gyarados. Good thing we didn't protect. We eat. We're able to soak. Gyarados should go next. And if Gyarados can eat up a Heat Wave... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. The comeback? The comeback? Show it to me. Show it to me. What's Heat Train going for? Maybe a Flash Cannon. Let's see what he's doing. He's going for a Heat Wave. We have a Lumberry, too. We are thriving, dude. Yo, we are thriving. We are thriving. We love it. We love it. Yo, Gary to Gyarados might clutch this one up. As long as he doesn't miss. As long as, as, long as something, something whack doesn't happen here. We can drop a Waterfall and we can finish off this battle. Jeans is a bomb of snow and Gyarados clutching up? I think so. I think so. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me the win. This guy's like trying to think like, yo, what can I do? You can do nothing. Yo, I outspeed you and I'm coming in hot with a waterfall. And I'm coming in hot with this waterfall. What a first battle. What a first battle. Waterfall is going to drop. It's going to connect. That's going to be GG's. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Starting off 1-0 with a phenomenal first battle. That first battle was money, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that one. But we're hopping into our second battle. And we got a little bit of a mirror matchup going here. He also has the Bomb of Snow and Glaceon. He has a Gyarados. He has an Arcanine. Only two differences. He has Crobat. I have Scissor. I got Ambipom. He's got Dragonite. So, pretty cool team. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like I'm not even going to bring my Bomb of Snow. I just feel like a nice little Ambipom lead is solid. It does work all around. And then we could bring, like, Scissor for a lead. Maybe set him up. Or Gyarados. I do kind of like setting up Gyarados with that Dragon Dance. Because we do have the Ice move. That uh, is super effective onto the Crobat and super effective onto the uh, Dragonite. So I'm really leaning towards that. So those two looking really good. Looking really good. We'll bring Glaceon in the back end. Just have some fun with it. And then last but not least, we are going to roll out into, I think, Scissor. Scissor or Arcanine? Who am I going to lean towards here? Skizzy or Arky? Hmm. Lean towards Scissor here. I, I really do like Scissor. Super effective on both the ice. I think he does bring Arcanine, though. But uh, I think we should be fine with that. I think we should be fine with that. Or we can go with Arcanine of our own, but... We already have an Intimidate Pokemon. I'm going to lock in Scissor. I'm going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves back-to-back -back wins, yo. Dude, that first battle was so good. It was so good. It was such a good battle. Let's see who our opponent leads here. Glaceon and uh, Abomasone. I'm cool with that all day. I am cool with that all day because I'm just going to fake out this lovely little Glaceon. And I'm going to set up a Dragon Dance. I think setting up Dragon Dance is going to be my play. Setting up this lovely little Dragon Dance. I think we should be able to eat up a Blizzard all day from... Uh, that, what's it called? And then Obama Snow, and then I think we can just kind of just roll off from there. Because Glaceon is really the, the bigger threat out of the two. It just hits way, way harder. No, I do not want to protect. I'm going to Dragon Dance. So I'm going to fake out. I'm going to Dragon Dance. We're going to get rolling out from here. Let's get rolling here. Any pump's going to fake out. Look at the damage fake out does. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. We're going to be able to Dragon Dance set up, and we're going to get rolling out. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. And I think a double hit might be able to take out Glaceon. It might be able to. Let's see what uh, Obama Snow goes for. Blizzard or like an Icy one? What's a, what's a Rock one? Oh, okay. A little bit of Aurora Bell action. I'm with it all day. So he sets up an Aurora Bell. That's up a nice level of Aurora Bell. And uh, what do I do from here? Do we think a Waterfall can just take out Glaceon through the Aurora Bell? I think so, right? And at this point, I can just keep in Ambipom and just, you know, double hit. And then just Waterfall. Because I think Waterfall can do can do the work here. I think it can. With Dragon Ants and everything, I think it should just be able to take out this Glaceon. Show it to me. Wow, it doesn't. Wow, that thing's bulked. The thing is bulked with the war belt. Oh! They doing me dirty. They doing me dirty, dirty. What, what's, what are they rocking with here? Oh, one got a flinch. Oh, Glaceon got flinched by Waterfall. We'd love to see it. Glaceon got flinched by Waterfall. That's a huge turn. That's a huge turn. That's a great turn. So now I'm just going to Waterfall again into Glaceon and just uh, you turn and pivot out with Amipom. Just save, for, save a fake out for another turn. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Actually, dude, we'll be able to bulk this. Let's see. What if we're coming in hot, yo? Please KO this thing. It does. Cool. Wow, dude. That thing was so bulk. That thing was so bulky. Dude, the Roar Veil and Reflex and Light Screens do so much work. It's, uh, in this, what's it called? In this format. It really does. Because when I was, what I use, I use an Alkazam screen team, and it just made my team so bulky. So having this out here is crazy. But I can roll in the scissor now. And just go out from there. I was going to roll on the Glaceon, but Sister's just a great call here with, uh, with Bull Punch ready to roll. This should be able to take out a bomb no problem. Gonna drop Blizzard. As long as he gets no freezes, he should be thrown. Cool. No. Cool. Nothing. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I could set up a Sword Dance and read a Protect, but I just think going into Bull Punch is definitely going to play. And just keep targeting down this right slot with this guy who is Dragon Dance up. He's Dragon Dance all up. He's plus one on attack, plus one on speed. Your boy is thriving. Your boy is thriving. Let's see. Arcanine's going to come I can just read the Protect, but there's no need to. There's no need to. I'm just going to target down with a uh, Waterfall and go Bull Punch and others. I just think it's the easy play. It's going to intimidate us, though, but again, I, I still think it's the easy play. I think we're just gonna play it simple we're just gonna keep thriving they might both protect they might swap one of them might protect but play is just bang bang and he doesn't protect anything. simple play it's gonna work out for us full punch comes through here his bomb is able to eat up god dang it war bell and then waterfall is gonna poke through here and how much damage can this waterfall do we're neutral on attack now due to his intimidate but still should do a nice chunk dude war bell man war bell so good he's gonna burn up he's gonna take out my skizzy no problem skizzy dead skizzy's dead okay so he burns up he's no longer fire type which is actually, that benefits him. And I'm hoping my Gyarados can get off one more turn here. Let's see what he goes for. Blizzard, right? Blizzard, yeah. Can you eat this up and get off one more turn? Cannot. Cannot. That hurts. That hurts soul. Okay, so Aurora Bell is kind of ending very, very soon. Or not Aurora Bell. The Hail? Yeah, well, now I'm talking about Aurora Bell. I do want the Hail out here a little bit. Still crazy. I'm going to roll into Ambi Palm. And then from here, I know we outspeed. I know we outspeed. So what I want to do here is, uh, Probably just fake out the, uh, fake out the Arcanine, right? Hmm, do I want to fake out the Arcanine here? And just Ice Beam finish this thing off? Yeah, exactly what I want to do. Fake out Arky, Ice Beam finish off the Obama Snow. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with the blizzards just flying through. This is my call all day. This is a, this is a solid battle. This is a solid battle. But yo, Warvel really, really doing work. So if that can wear off, we could potentially be fine here. It really depends on his final Pokemon. It really does depend on his final Pokemon. Because if a Roar Bell does end next turn, which it might, it's going to come, I think might, it might end next turn. Then Double Hit should be able to take out uh, Arcanine, no problem. You know, Double Hit with Amipom doesn't work. I'm going to drop a little Fake Out, y'all. Eat, chip up some damage. And this thing, of course, has a berry. It ruins my whole plan. It ruins everything that I wanted to do. It ruins everything I wanted to do. It ruins everything. Glacian's gonna come out here with an Ice Beam. We're gonna chip up some damage and we're gonna say bye bye to Bombasno. I probably maybe should have left the Bombasno alive. But at the same time, if it, if it got a Blizzard off, it would definitely kill my uh, Amy Palm. So Hail stops and a War Bell's gone. Thank the Lord. We got rid of the War Bell. Now we're sitting in a tough situation. It might be too late, but we'll see who he goes into for his final battle. It's gonna be Dragonite. It's gonna be Dragonite. And I think at this point, we could just. Uh... Double down to Arcanine. I'm really leaning towards it. Actually, let's yawn this thing. Let's go for double hit. What's he gonna do? He's gonna go for extreme speed. I'm on a glacier. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm actually really cool with that. Double hit flies. And another double hit should be able to take out. So let's see what uh let's see what Dragonite's doing. Let's see what Dragonite's doing. He's gonna outreach. He's gonna go after Glaceon. And that takes my Glaceon out. Ouch, dude. It got a crit. No! Dude, I think we would have won that. All I, like, I, I was thinking in my head, all I need to do is eat up with Glaceon. Because if Glaceon eats up, we yawn, and then we just protect next turn. We just protect next turn. Ambipom can outspeed and take out this thing, no problem. We wouldn't thrive, dude. He just won off a crit, dude. Get out of my face. Team Speed's going to poke through here. We're going to be able to eat that up. Maybe he'll miss an Outrage or something like that. And confuse itself, and then we get a chance. But then, ain't happening. Outrage can come out over here. We dead, right? Outrage. We dead. Yeah. GG's. GG's. Wow, dude, he won off of a crit. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. But still, yo, solid second battle. We're sitting at one and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for that winning record. That last battle was solid. But not going to lie, RNG did me dirty. But I can't be mad at that because in battle number one, our opponent did miss Heat Wave. So it, it evens out. It evens out. But hopping into this third battle, we're going up against a pretty cool team. Luxray, Gyarados, Haunter over here. I don't know if that Haunter's just for filler, but then Rapidash, Honchkrow, and Snorlax. So, pretty cool Pokemon. I'm digging it a lot. I feel like going into the Glaceon, Obama Snow lead, I just feel like it's going to work well, and it's going to do a lot of work. And then, uh, who else should I bring here? Gyarados definitely looking good. Gyarados definitely looking good. And then, final Pokemon, did we go Scissor, or do we go Arky? Scissor or Arky? Scissor's just too good. I got to lock in Scissor. 
I got to lock in the scissor and I got to bring him in here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. But something I forgot to mention throughout the video is I do have Twitter now. So I know I've been mentioning it a lot in my videos because I want you guys to actually come over there, hang out, hit that follow button if you guys do have Twitter. And I am taking a Pokemon Sword and Shield team request. If you guys do have teams, tweet me, DM me, something like that. All that good stuff over there. And also, I want you guys to go follow my sponsorship because we got brand new content coming on the way for, with those guys too. So a link down in the description below for everything. We got some cool stuff coming, you guys. Wait, giveaways, new content. Uh, something I, I might have mentioned in earlier videos. Uh, I'm going to be playing Rocket League over on their channel, which is going to be a lot of fun with all their other content creators. So it's going to be tons of fun. You guys should definitely check it out. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be a blast. But like I said, just go follow everything down in the description below. Links are all there. But uh, our guy finally locks in his team, and let's see who he's going to go into. Now, Haunter's kind of scaring me. And this guy did pick the rules and he picked two to six. So I don't know if he's bringing six. We might have to go for a 4v6 situation. 4v6 situation here. Blah, blah, blah. Can't speak. But it's all good. He's going to go Luxray and Gary to Gyarados. Which is totally fine. So Intimidate's going to come out here. And actually, maybe two Intimidates. But we're both special attackers. So I'm liking it. Yeah, two Intimidates are coming out here on special attackers. I'm digging that all day. And do I yawn on somebody? I could yawn to him. I could yawn onto the Gyarados, which could be nice. But he could be rocking a Lumberry. Could definitely be scary, but I think a blizzard is gonna have to poke out here and we're gonna have to get rolling from there. Why well, can't drop an energy ball? I'm thinking of just blizzarding. Oh, he does have six. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. You know, I think I'm thinking I'm just gonna uh blizzard and ice beam here. I could icy wind actually. Grant some speed, but let's see how the speeds are, th are, are going out here. That might be my favorite. We'll see. Yeah, Bomba is gonna go first. That's gorgeous. Chip up some damage here. Not bad, yo. Oh, yo, Luxury's taking a me damn Jessen. Okay, I already outspeed. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So Luxury's gonna go down here. Solid first turn. And what's Gary to Gary just going for? Anything but a Dragon Dance, right? We'll be fine with anything but a Dragon Dance. He's gonna go for a Crunch. So he's rocking the Crunch moveset. I'm totally cool with that. He's gonna chip some damage here. And he's rocking left. Okay, so left over Gyarados over here with the Crunch moveset. So it's probably rocking Crunch, Waterfall, Protect, and I would think Dragon Dance, right? I would think. I would think. But you never know. You never know. That's just like, I think, one of the best moves in Aerosis. You have to have Waterfall, you have to have Dragon, you have to have Protect, and then you can either have Crunch or Ice Fang, especially for this meta. But this one's looking a little scary here, so I might yawn this thing. I might just rock into another Blizzard, because I do not mind if what's called this goes out here. I do not mind if uh, a Bomba Snow goes out here. Because I think he's going to target down a Bomba Snow over We see all day, just because it's four times super effective, but we shall see. We shall see. We do have the extra belt, which is nice, but no super effective Pokemon on we can go Inferno. Inferno into Bomb Snow. No, he goes after my Glaceon. And Glaceon's so good. Woo! We love it. We love it. Oh, we get burned, though, still. We're special attacking. I'm cool with that. Blizzard's gonna fly here. We're gonna chip up some damage. Gyarados. We're gonna chip up some damage onto that uh, Rapidash. And then from here, we're just gonna drop a nice little yawn. Nice lovely yawn onto this Rapidash. But he has six Pokemon. We got, we're, we're, still, we're still in the hole a little bit. Glaceon. Snow Cloak Glaceon coming in hot. Coming in hot. We love it. We love it. Snow Cloak Coming in hot with that. Uh, from here, what do I do? Do I double protect? I could definitely double protect. I'm thinking of double protecting here. Hmm. I can go for Shadow Ball. Just Blizzard. Shadow Ball Blizzard's good. We, we probably shouldn't even be on last turn. Let's see what he does. He goes Smart Strike. That's gonna take me out. That's fine. That's fine. We'll drop Blizzard. We'll take out. I think we should be able to take out Gyarados. And then Rapid Ash is gonna go to sleep. So I'm cool with Glaceon doing the work that it did. Because now I can bring out my heavy attackers. Hopefully it's TikTok Gyarados, right? Gyarados, gone. Out for the count. Out for the count here. And I think I have to go into my Gyarados of my own. Or do I go into a Scissor? No, I really don't want to bring out Scissor until this, uh, until this Rapid Dash is off the field. That thing's gonna go to sleep. Uh, I think at this point, you know, we bring out Gyarados and then we, uh, drag it and stuff. Because he still has more Pokemon than me, I'm gonna need a Pokemon to sweep out here. So either Gyarados or Scissor have to come in here, which I chose Gyarados, and we gotta set up. We gotta set up. He's gonna go in through, say, a physical attack. Honcho, okay, so yeah, physical attack is gonna come out here. And Intimidate's gonna fly out today. So Intimidate, looking purdy. Looking real purdy. Oh, yo, and Ice is super effective. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, yo, Dragon Dance all day. Dragon Dance into a Blizzard. Money turn right here. Unless Honcho, which you might actually do, outspeed my bomb or something, take him out. But still, say Honchko outspeeds, takes out a Bomba Snow, Rapid Dash is going to be asleep, and then I get out my boy right here, which is going to be my Gyarados, all Dragon Dance up, and I feel like we can just sweep it out. Especially with Scissor in the back end, Rock and Bullet Punch. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's just Damage City with them, too. Going to end up withdrawing Rapid Dash. Okay, I'm cool with that. 
Nice little withdrawal. He maybe thinks of going into a waterfall on that, but it's all good. He's going to go into Sriracha. We Dragon Ant setting up. And Garrett is going to go first. Lovely, yo. D Dance is out on the field. We get our Dragon Boogie on. <laughs> our Dragon Dance is on. <laughs> we get our speed. We get that. Bomb Star is going to go first. This might just dump on the Hanchi. It just dumps on Big Dong Hanchi over here. <laughs> if you guys watch my BDSP, play, my BDSP playthrough and my streams, we used to call Hanch Crow. BDH for Big Dong Hodge. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's just so funny. But yeah, we're pretty much gonna wrap up the spell. I don't I don't think his Pokemon are IV trained. I'm starting to realize that. That's totally fine. He's gonna bring a Haunter, which I'm not worried about. <laughs> He's gonna bring a Haunter. I'm just gonna drop a waterfall. I'm just gonna roll into another blizzard. While I have my lovely little turns young. This will be the last turn for hail. That's what's so good about Obama, so you just roll him in there with hail, blizzard, 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 blizzard. Heavy hitting stab move, does a lot of damage, hits both Pokemon, cannot miss in the hail, and it has a chance of freezing at the same time. It's just gorgeous. Waterfall's gonna poke here, big old damage. We do not take out Strongs because he's a bit bulky, and this thing's gonna outspeed and go for Dark Pulse. How dare you? How dare you? And that did a nice amount of damage, but Obama is gonna come in here, probably clean up the Strongs, right? It does not clean up the Strongs, and it does not take out the, ha the Haunter either. You little biscuit, you little buttery biscuit. But, uh, why did Snorlax go? Did he get flinched? He might have got flinched. But at this point, I know what's called super, super slow. Snorlax, so I'm going to target down the Haunter with my faster Pokemon. And I'm just going to take out the Snorlax. So this match is pretty much a wrap. We're not even going to need a scissor. It's going to be a 6v3, actually. <laughs> it's going to be a 6v3 because this battle is over with. We take out the Haunter here. We take out Snorlax. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon, which is Rapid Ash, who's asleep. And we're just going to hit him with a Waterfall. But at that point, I just think our opponent can't see the battle. But yeah, we are... We are thriving. We are thriving. Another thing I forgot to mention, which I did actually mention in earlier videos, but not for today. You guys want some rogue energy? 10% off code short circuit. Leave it up on the screen. Link is down in the description below. Definitely go check it out. Definitely go check it out. But he's gonna bring out his final Pokemon and let's run it, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be a nice, lovely little you guys for today's video. Yet again in Pokemon, Brilliant Diamond, and Shining Pearl. Waterfall pokes out, Rapid Dash. We'll say farewell. We will say farewell, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Solid set of battles for today's video. Got to show off this team to its fullest potential, and the only Pokemon that we didn't get to use, surprisingly enough, was this Arcanine over here, who I absolutely love. You guys seen plenty of Arcanine, so I'm actually glad we didn't showcase that off, but we got Glaceon out there. We got Abomasnow, Ambipom, Scissor Gyarados. Just a solid set of battles and a winning record for you guys. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you pets positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.